Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jonas and today we're going to be learning how to make this, uh, these material design tabs into your Figma prototype with these interactions. So, you can swipe between the tabs or you can just click them individually and it will animate and navigate between them. And also there will be this like indicator line here which is animated and also the current tab label will be slightly like highlighted so let's learn how to do this so here we are in figma and let's just quickly go over the like the setup here so here are, here are the like core components just the simple tab which is a frame with uh, the text and then the indicator is just another frame the same size with uh, a rectangle at the bottom and then here is just a simple like android material app bar design and the tabs will like, come in the space. and then here is an empty screen where we will be building everything in a moment and then here's some dummy content that we will be using on the tabs that you saw already in the intro and if you were wondering uh, about where did I get all of these components? Well, you can find these from like I believe there are like several material design uh, libraries available to you. You can just Google Google like mat Figma material design library, and you will be able to find this. Or I can just also link some library in the description below, so you can go pick anything, any component from there. So, let's begin with the actual uh, prototype and project. So, uh, let's just copy this app bar component and put it into the first screen here and align it correctly, like that. Uh, and then we can just drag in a copy of the tab and a copy of the indicator, like so. And we should drag the tab within the app bar component like so and let's see that it's aligned correctly seems to be and then we can just simply duplicate it three times like so and then select all of them and just drag the edge to stretch all of them equally to fill the screen and now we can just drag in the indicator like so and align it to the left and then stretch it to be the same size as the tabs it should be uh, this one yeah it's correctly sized and while we are here we should name the tabs oh, yeah, let's over it let's do this uh, it was Lorem, Ipsum, and something like Dallas. Doesn't really matter because it's just a sample. So now we have the basic structure of the like component build, and let's quickly add the dummy content to the first tab and align it correctly like so, and also stretch the screen a little bit to allow it to scroll let's say in the prototype yep it scrolls but as you can see the headline or app bar is not yet fixed to the screen so let's do that next and all we have to do is to just click this box here on the app bar component and fix it fix the position when scrolling and anchor it to left and top so now it will stay still like so uh, and then we can duplicate the tab first tab and we can delete the dummy content and actually because we stretched the first tab we want to make this back to the like default height so let's quickly adjust it to be like this we can now delete this uh, and then duplicate it one more time and let's 
uh, well, I think we should add the dummy content to all of them while we are doing it. So, add it there and make sure it's aligned correctly, like so. And the final dummy content from here, drag it in there, make it center, and then give it some spicing on top, like so. And then stretch the entire screen. And I think we should try to give it like the same padding on the bottom as on the top. So now we can uh, move on to building the prototype for the tabs. So let's first just build the, like when you click it navigates to the corresponding tab. So let's, uh, so just highlight a single tab and drag a prototype connection to the next one. And the interaction is on tab. Uh, the animation is push and it's gonna be yeah to the to the left this time and then do the same for the other tab on the first screen should be equal oh and also enable the smart animate matching layers this is really important to enable it otherwise it won't work uh, and before actually before we do rest of these we should update the styles and the location of the like, uh, indicator component. So let's quickly, for the second tab, move it over the middle tab. And on the last one, just move it over to the last tab, like so. And also change the opacity on the like inactive tabs to be like 50%. And you can, there's a shortcut uh, if you just click the number keys on your keyboard, it will automatically switch between different opacities. Like here, if I click number 8, it will set it to 80% or number 1, it will set it to 10%. But we want 50%, so I'll go with that and then quickly add it to the rest of the tabs. Just change the opacity like so. And now we are set up to hook up the prototype completely. So onto the second tab. Just drag the rest of the connections from the tabs. Should be push, uh, some more animate, and left, yeah. But for this one, uh, the animation or the direction is to right because we're moving to the left, so it's kind of counterintuitive, but it works. <laughs> and finally, connect the rest of these. Should be that, and then this. Let's see, does it work? It goes right, right, left, left, and these work. Okay, good. Uh, and now for the uh, drag interaction, because now you you can't you can't drag, you can just click this. But thankfully, it's really simple to do. So all we need to do is just add a frame on top of everything. Like so, where did you go? Here. No, so oh, you went inside. Don't go inside there. <laughs> Please. So, what we can do here is we can just lock the dummy content so the frame won't go inside the dummy frame. And let's make some room here by collapsing this. Okay, so this frame we're gonna overlay it on top of the whole area that you want the to be able to like swipe. So, I don't think you want to swipe here. But anywhere there's the content, you want to be able to swipe here. So just overlay it on top of everything that you want to be able to, or I mean, where you want to be able to trigger uh, the swipe interaction. Just quick 
basically align everything correctly like so and then we can name this something appropriate like uh, swipe area oh and you also want to give these like distinctive names between the tabs because if you have the same name between these tabs and you have smart animate enabled it will create conflicts between the like animations so give distinct names for the swipe area so just swipe area like tab one simply do that and then we should also lock the dummy content here so we won't be it won't go inside there accidentally we just want want to be like overlaid on top of everything but we don't want it to go in inside any other frame or we don't want anything else in this frame so once we have created created the connections you should also lock the swipe areas because if you then work on the design more you don't want to like accidentally drag anything into the swipe areas but now that we are working on this we don't want to lock them yet so on to the last tab and let's close off these unnecessary things unlock the dummy content like so and let's create the final gesture area or swipe area whatever you want to call this and drag it down to fill the screen so now let's start from the tab one and go into the prototype tab and just simply create a connection to the second tab and this time it's not on tab but on drag and this should be correct and the interaction or animation is still the same it's just push should be correct no but the other direction sorry like this and let's see if it worked can we drag yes we can and now on to the second tab uh, we should create the connection to the tab one it's on drag animation is push and since we're going back to the previous you want to select the direction to be right and then this should be okay and now you want to create another connection from the same swipe area tab 2 frame to the tab 3 and this time it's also on drag push but to left like so and let me just quickly yeah it's on drag so we should be able to drag between the first, the second, and to the last one, like so. So now just quickly finish up with connecting the last tab. Use on drag, push, and the direction is uh, this one, like to the right, let's say. And there we go. Now everything should be hooked up. We can drag between all the tabs like so, and we can just use like we can just tap the different tabs, and it will navigate to the corresponding tab very smoothly. Alright, guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below, and also while you're at it, consider subscribing. But as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.